it going everyone? So today I've got two paddles here. There's a wood one from Grey Owl, carbon from Apex, and uh, this cold shrink wrap tape. And basically you can see that there. Basically it's uh, silicone tape uh, used in automotive applications. Um, doesn't have any adhesive in it itself, but it's pretty rubbery. And uh, what happens is when you stretch it, it ends up, here it is, if I can get it. So it comes away from the backing, and what happens is, uh, here's the tape. The tape is, in itself, just kind of stretchy. It has some stretch in it, you can see that. And it doesn't have any adhesives, either side is, is the same, it's just a loose piece of rubber, basically. And um, when you stretch it over itself and wrap it around, what happens is it adheres to itself and uh, makes basically a waterproof barrier over whatever it is you wrapped it, be it uh, wires or a paddle in this case. So here it is over my apex. Uh, you can see how I kind of coil it around the handle right where I like to grip it. And so that way, you know, it gives me pretty good grip. Um, there's a shadow right about here. You can see that in the light. Basically underneath this, I um, put a little piece of either tennis grip, which has some pad, or like bicycle tape grip, which um, is a little bit of cushion. And I like that for longer distance uh, paddling comfort, just because my fingers will go here. And as I'm pulling this way, um, it just gives my, my fingers a little bit of a cushion against the paddle so it's not just digging in. And it still gives me pretty good feel. It's not really, really thick. Um, it's probably about a millimeter or less. But um, basically, I'm going to retape this paddle here. This is a paddle from a couple of years ago. And um, you can see that after a couple of seasons of paddling, this tape holds up pretty well. Um, it rolls a little bit and wrinkles a little bit, but um, otherwise has stayed intact and hasn't shredded up. So let's let's take a look. All right, so. Here it is, the paddle is just um, unwrapped from the tape. There's no residue really, I mean this stuff up here is from actually the electrical tape that I guess back in the day I had, um, this is electrical tape here, um, it went up here, I just wrapped that to kind of finish off the uh, grip. And it, this one has adhesive in it, you can see how it actually sticks to my fingers. Uh, meanwhile, you have the uh, cold shrink wrap tape right here that I pulled off. And this stuff doesn't have any adhesive in it. It just drops right off. So, um, and here's that uh, grip, that bicycle grip or tennis grip tape that I was talking about. Has a, a little bit of cushion in it. So I would put that right over the spot that my fingers are gonna go over so my fingers don't get quite as pushed. It's just a personal preference thing because I'm a soft-handed wimp. But uh, yeah, at your option there. But uh, let's um, wrap this paddle and see how it looks, okay? And I'll show you how the cold shrink wrap tape works. So first, you wanna figure out where it is on the paddle, obviously. You wanna put the grip, so you wanna hold the paddle approximately where you like to hold on with the bottom hand. And uh, that distance is gonna be where you wanna apply the grip tape. You could be liberal and do the whole thing, but uh, you know, if you're kind of trying to make up your mind on where to hold it, but I like to just keep it in one spot. That gives me a, a little more consistency when I paddle. But uh, here we go. So I'm going to apply the pad just about to where I like to hold it. And then from there, let's start from the bottom. You could start from the top, either way. But um, I start with the grip tape right about there, okay? I tether it with my thumb, give it a stretch, so you can see it stretch there. As I stretch it, 
it starts date here, and I'm stretching it again. There I go. So you can see it start to, to stretch over itself. And as I just wrap around like this, giving about maybe a 50% overlap over the tape I put, that just basically seals itself against the remaining tape that's on the paddle. And I just keep tension on this whole thing as I turn it. So I'm stretching it and then rolling it. Stretch and roll. And I'm starting to overlap with the grip, right, that I put on the cushion. And I just keep doing that. So once I get to the end here, I'm actually going to go around several times in one spot just to finish that off, so to speak, and kind of seal off the end. Once I get to the end here, you can see it starts to stretch, right? I'm just going to put my thumb where I want it to stop, and basically I just pull this and then press down. Okay? So I put that in a spot where I'm not going to be paddling right on it. It's on the side of the paddle so that my thumb or my fingers won't be like pulling at the seams uh, as I paddle. But basically that little edge there is kind of like stretched, almost like melted almost, but it's not melted. It's just uh, stretched and adhered to the other bits of tape. And that pretty much stays on um, for the duration of your paddling. It doesn't really unravel like a string. Um, if it does, or if you're worried about that, you could always get some, like I did previously, some other tape and just make a little ring around that area. And uh, that, can, that can basically help you keep it intact. But here it is, finished product. And it's tacky. And for the whole grip, I used about maybe one and a half feet worth of tape for all of that because as I stretch it and apply it, um, a little bit goes longer basically than tape that doesn't stretch. Now my decision to use this stuff is basically that um, I wanted something that was waterproof and would last a long time and had good wearability but was cheap, you know. I think uh, there are a lot of companies out there who make branded grip tape for sport application with a lot of the same properties, but um, I'm, I'm cheap, so I don't like to use that kind of stuff if I can avoid it. Um, you know, if I can get something that works uh, almost just as well or even better. Basically, at the end, I uh, pull off the cleaning cover. Uh, it's like a protecting just ribbon of plastic. And then it comes with this um, little sticky tab. I just pull that off. Retape it down so it doesn't go unraveling in your gear bag. And voila, you have a sealed roll of tape. So um, that's my video on grip tape. And uh, let me know if you have any questions, guys. Thanks a lot.